Hi, I'm Owen Honey, your local DIY enthusiast from Builders. Today we're looking at bathroom cabinets. Well, the cabinet behind me is beautifully made, but it lacks any doors and you lose your privacy ever so slightly. So what we're going to do today using the Builders cutting service is have cabinet doors made and have a great service there that will make your melamine doors with edging and everything included. The only thing we're going to do is add mirrors to it. So I'm going to take you through the process in getting this done. So before we head on down to our local builders to order our doors, what we need to do is make sure we get all our measurements correct. So taking your tape measure, measure the outside edge of the entire cabinet. So top edge to bottom edge is exactly 1.2 from side to side is 76.6. Now remember the doors are not going to be butt jointed together so you're going to have to give about two mils on each door taken off in order to get that nice flush fit. So once you've got all the measurements, get on down to your builders and they will get it done for you. So we got our doors back from builders and these melamine doors look fantastic. They've also edged it and they've cut the holes for our recessed hinges. So now the next step is to assemble this all, putting the mirror in place that will cover this entire door and also attach our hinges. But in order to do that, let me take you through the list of tools you require to complete this task. Well firstly you'll need a pair of gloves. This is very important when handling any glass or mirrors. You also need a pencil, a tape measure, masking tape, a cordless drill with a screwdriver head as well as a 2 mil drill bit. You'll need a blade, fix all glue which bonds your mirror to the door. You'll also need a carpenter's square, hinges, chipboard screws and your mirror. So now I'm going to glue my mirror to the door and to do that I'm going to use the Sudol Fix All Turbo. Well it dries within 20 minutes and the great thing is it's fully set within three hours. It bonds to any material and it can be used in humid areas as well. So great product to use. We're going to apply this to the mirror, turn the mirror over, stick it to the door. Simple process. Let's show you how. So using your masking tape, stick the mirror firmly in place against the door. It just keeps it in place and helps the drying process. The next step is to put our hinges in place. Now these are recessed hinges and quite easy to install. All that you do is slot them in and then with your chipboard screws, as easy as this, screw them in place. Time now to hang up your cabinet doors. Well, my favorite tool in my toolbox is this carpenter square and that helps me set up everything. So all I'm going to do is use my carpenter square to measure out where my hinge holes are going to be. And once you put it on the edge there, you mark it out, take that same measurement, put it on the cabinet and you'll know exactly where your hinge holes will be. And you can make guide holes for your very first hinge. Very important to get that right. Once everything else is in place, you can adjust the hinge accordingly. It really looks amazing. These cupboard doors have made a huge difference to this bathroom. And if you'd like more on this project and a whole lot more, all you need to do is get onto our YouTube channel. Otherwise, go to our website, which is www.builders.co.za. Get to Builders 